Hey kids, it's Englantine here, and uh, let me start off by saying something about Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted is one of the earliest uh, examples that I know of, anyway, in my lifetime, of very smart, stupid. Actually, Animal House would be that also. It's smart, stupid, meaning it takes a smart person to write characters this stupid and make it good. And I can tell by reading this book that the person writing this may have watched the movies and oh yeah and 80s kids talk like this and they went with just stupid and it's also suffering the when a franchise is dead take it to space curse but what's the animation art is actually not bad for what they're trying to do because it's YA but what is bad are the jokes oh my gosh they are aimed at the lowest common denominator they're mostly of the pun version variety and it's horrible no I'm not against puns okay I mean I remember what there was a magazine called Reader's Digest I, I used to read only the pun section and it, that was fun and I mean you know I'm not a when done well puns can be funny at the very least I remember the Reader's Digest they had a contest and I I was a kid I thought it would be fun I entered it I sent 10 submissions in I thought with 10 submissions, I was bound to win something, but unfortunately, no pun in 10 did, so I walked away empty-handed. And there's, unfortunately, this book is in no way, shape, or form finding a clever way to slip these things in, so it's obvious gags that just fall flat on their face. It's one of the few comic books where I'm reading it and I'm actively hearing the prices right. Bum, 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 bum. I wish I wanted this. I wanted to like this. I pick them. Uh, the usually with Marvel and DC, me and my brother. Okay, I'll pick this. I get this. It's like the draft. But with the independents, I think, oh well, he'll like this, and I give it to him, and I say, oh well, I'll like that. And I actually picked this one for myself because I'm a huge Bill and Ted fan. Like I said, I was what 17 when that came out. I was exactly the age you need to be to enjoy the Bill and Ted. So there's a legacy there for me. And not to mention, I've worked at Universal for like 13, 14 years and saw every Halloween Horror Nights with Bill and Ted that has ever been made. So yeah, I feel a kinship you know, to the characters. Grew up with them. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I hear, oh, well, Keanu Reeves, he's, he can't be 55 because he's not that much older than... Oh, shit, yeah. You know, it's one of those situations. So anyway, they go into space and it just becomes ridiculous and just not it's not as fun or funny as they want it to be and i don't know i guess i'm rambling because i know i want to make it to the end of the book and i'm playing the entire book here so if you guys want to check it out tell me i'm wrong tell me i'm right whatever that's fine but uh yeah i, I there's nothing more for me to say about this book really and you know what Okay, yeah, I'm actually surprised that they didn't really do the likenesses either. If you look at Bill and Ted, it's like, okay, long black hair, slim face, blonde hair, fat face. That's them. Go for it. And that's all they did. And this twist here is ridiculous. I don't know. Don't get this book. Okay, gang, just to be honest with you, everything I said I feel about this book. I really do think it was bad. And it, it took me everything I had... To finish it that being said I did this review for one and one reason and one reason only and that was to tell a joke did you catch it if so I know I deserve to get my ass whipped in the comments below so by all means get to ass whipping okay because yeah that was bad it was it was really bad but you know thank you for watching anywho uh, <laughs> sorry guys boy can I can I push the patron page after I do a joke that bad I don't know, but we did start up a patron account, uh, Patreon account, so if you don't mind, go on over, drop a dollar in the till, help us out so I can make better videos than this one. Once again, the sentiments were all there. And I'd like to thank my our first three patrons, Jesse Novacek, Sky Roseboom, and Patriot Cat for helping us out there, and everybody else and them. Thank you very, very much for watching. Rock and roll!